Alright guys, Warner Weasel back tonight and we are coming into Gatlinburg for the 2020 Winterfest, Gatlinburg Winterfest lights, Christmas lights. And we were going to show you the lights here in Gatlinburg guys. I feel like there's more here actually than there is in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. Maybe it's because the town is, it's as big but it's more kind of compact. So coming in right here, Gatlinburg welcomes you. I love these trees. Yeah, look at the trees made onto the light poles, guys. They really, really, like Gatlinburg goes farther out than any town here in the Great Smoky Mountains on their lights. Gatlinburg at Christmas with a little bit of snow is beyond perfect. Yeah. Uh, between Gatlinburg's Christmas lights and Dollywood's, I don't know about anywhere else, but for a big area, I don't think you can really beat it. There's just something nice about the Gatlinburg area itself at Christmas time. Yeah. Seems like Gatlinburg calms down more at Christmas time. It's not so wild and just rambunctious as it is in warm weather. It seems a little more family. It's a little more family-ish around Christmas and New Year's time. They're always lit up, but they're still pretty. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to take you up the Gatlinburg Strip, show you the lights up it. We'll come back down the uh, river road down the back side and show you what's down through there. And then I'm going to take you out what they call 321 toward the Craftsman's Valley. Or not Craftsman's Valley, but the uh, Glades out through, like as you're going to go toward Cosby, and show you the lights out that way. Guys, there's a whole lot of lights over here. Is that a bad thing? No, but daggone if they've not got Anakista lit up up top. You got hillbillies. A snowman. Yep. And a toy soldier. Yep. <clears throat> Check this tree out, guys. It's down at the bottom of Anakista. Spot. It's the problem in Gatlinburg. You don't know which way to look because there's lots every direction you can look. Yeah. Yeah, there is. I don't remember these arches being here last year. I don't remember them being here before. Guys, if any of y'all have been through the Gatlinburg lights in the last couple of years, uh, leave a comment below in the video. About yeah, these arches these in front arches. of Noe Jose's. Yeah, and right up here where you turn into uh, the Greystone Lodge and the aquarium at Smokies. Check out that tree there. Like, I don't remember the archways being here. I don't, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like we said, there's so many lights here that you might miss it by looking at something else. Very possible. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how that tree is lit. How it's doing that? Uh-huh. I have no clue earthly eye. Um, because it's not like drop lights themselves it's on the actual I don't know it's almost like projection but there's no way to project that not really maybe mm -mm. I, don't know. I don't know I'm gonna have to investigate that when we get time to get a closer view yeah we got Christmas trees right here of various colors that archway goes all the way down the back road we'll have to look at that on the way back through yeah 
And check out the pretty trees. Yep. I mean, how can you go wrong driving the Gatlinburg Strip with all these trees, my lots on either side? Yeah. Don't think we'll gain snow this trip, though. I don't think so. I honestly, I don't think we really will come uh, December. We can hope for snow in December. I wish we would. Indiana. Yep. I would definitely like some snow for Christmas itself. Down here. Yeah. Valentine's Day with snow is nice down here too, though. It was so cold. <laughs> it was about terrible. 10 about 10 degrees walking this strip and, and snowing. And my face was literally so numb I couldn't move my mouth to talk. Yeah. That was cold. It was so bad. But it was fun. When do we not think Gatlinburg is fun? Every once in a while it gets to be a little bit much. We've been on this strip in 105 degree heat, Christopher. I know, and the 10 degree is cold. Mm-hmm. Be it rain or snow, we've been, we've been on By like Dollywood. Dollywood is really nice on a rainy day. Yeah. That's kind of like a preferred day in the summertime. Reagan Terrace Mall has quite a bit of Christmassy decor out. Yeah, they do. Check out the rocking horse on top of Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. Yep. It actually rocks. Yeah. That is That's nice. cute. Guys, the sky bridge has led as well up on the mountainside here. I'm hoping to be able to get up there, maybe the Christmas trip for you guys too. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try to. There's a lot to fit in and not a lot of time this time of the year to get it done. Yeah. It's hard to. With work schedules. Yep. Kind of the downside of having to adult. Yeah. yeah. We'll give you guys every bit we can with the best that we can with the best time frame that we have to work with. We have quite a bit of Christmas goodness planned. Okay, we have a lot of Christmas goodness planned. Yeah. But is there ever too much Christmas goodness? Look, Hot View has some lights. Mm-hmm. 
Mm hmm. I can feel all that, so I do. Mm hmm. I do. I don't remember them decorating for Christmas, but again. Yeah. That Reagan Resort Inn? Yeah. That's lit. Yep. Our sign is missing. It's laying on the ground. Oh. It's another one that's bit the big one in the last couple of days. I don't know. I will speculate when because I know they were having some really high gusts the last couple of days. Well, we've seen three or four places just in Gatlinburg signs and stuff are on the ground. Wind storm down, I guess. Or the Incredible Hulk came through really angry. Uh -huh. It's possible. You don't know what he does in his free time. down the main strip. Well, Days Inn is decorated nicely. Yeah. Surprisingly. <coughs> I guess they're pretty dear. They do. They're they're sparkly. They're, yeah, they're not purple, or not purple, but that gold, like that one's got. Are you not a fan of golden deer? No, I don't think that it's much. What color do you think Santa's reindeer are? They're not golden. Have you saw them? Really big toy soldier over there directing traffic. Yep. I'm sure he's taller than we he's are. Point the more lights, he says. Check out their Christmas lights. Yep, I see that. I like the snowflakes, those are cute. <clears throat> it's a nice touch. Alright, guys, we're gonna go down the back strip right here and show you. The lights down River Road. I think that's what they call it down there. Mm-hmm. Comes down by the Peddler Steakhouse and Bearskin Lodge on the river, which is a very nice place. And the Peddler has the best stuffed shrimp ever. Uh, best salad bar I've ever eaten. Oh, yeah. I we would love, go literally just for the salad bar. We love the Peddler. If you're into salads, it's... A salad you can lover's just go dream come For the salad bar, and I'll get full with it. Entirely. Golly, they got the lights up there on the sky bridge. They got it decked out up there, too. Bennett's has some lights. Yeah. Bennett's has got one weird looking light right there. It's. What? That? That's a wagon. Oh, I see that. <laughs> That's a covered wagon. Yeah. From the angle I was looking at it, it looked like a big old spider with that big of eyes. <laughs> If you didn't know the wagon was there previously, check out their tree. Yeah, I see it. If you didn't know the wagon was there previously, it's a little hard to decipher. Guys, I'm going to take you right down here behind Bennett's Barbecue in Gatlinburg off of River Road real quick. Just show you a couple little things down here on lights. And then we'll finish up River Road down the back side. <clears throat> Unless they've got their tree lit. Yeah. I don't wonder how the heck they got them up there. Spider-Man. They've had to use one of the scissor lists or something. Spider-Man. Boom truck. Kind of lodges got their railing lit up. There's some lights up here at their little hotel. All right, guys. Just a little back side here. We're going to have to go turn and take you down. That's the Chalet rest. Inn, by the way. Oh, they changed it now? Mm, no, that's always been the Chalet Inn office. Oh, well, <laughs> they moved the office down there. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. i to try to get turned. And this is how quick you find residential in Gatlinburg. Yeah. Well, Res that's pretty. Residential lights. Just barely off of. River Road, backside of Gatlinburg. I mean, look at that, guys. 
That's old school lights. It is. Like that's the old school. Like we grew up with. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna head back out to River Road, the back side of Gatlinburg Strip. Which is also a great source of free parking. Yes, if it's a, if you can find it. Worth the drive through to see if there's anything available. Yeah. It'll save you ten to fifteen dollars. Or Christ in the Smokies parking, I believe, is $5 all day, which is on River Road. Yeah. Which is a really good price for parking as well. Yeah. Guys, where I just turned down, that little back road is right under the Ober Tram where it comes out from. And there is one of the old Ober Trams. Yeah, there's one up top. That's a food truck. Yeah, that's a food truck. I believe those are the trams we rode as kids. It is. It is. Not? Yeah, that's the heavy ones. I thought so. That's the ones that feel like you're going to drop out. They all feel like you're going to drop out of the sky. <laughs> guys, we got Oh, Ober's coming in as we speak. Yep, and it's, it's lit. lit. The tram has got lights on it, guys. Check that out, Christmas lights. I got to go. I speak of the Ober. I didn't know it was still running this time of night. Yep. Tram's over here running. The trolley. Excuse me for that. Golden tram. It's the trolley. I haven't seen him in Pigeon Ford run. Mr. Rogers would set you straight on the difference in a tram and a trolley. Yeah, well. I can't he was that. friends with trolley. If that doesn't verify how old we are, I don't know that anything else will. <laughs> we grew up with Mr. Rogers and the old Ober trams. There's a either rental or residential cabin back there across the creek. It's got Check out their Christmas two or three. Lights. Uh, Mountain Heritage. Mountain Heritage Inn, guys, has got some reindeer. Good Christmas lights. Surprisingly. Really, really does. Little trees and bears. Very cute. Yeah, Cross of the Smokies has got a lot of lights, looks like. Well, I mean, it's kind of their season. Correct me if I'm wrong, they light up at Easter as well, do they not? I think so. I don't know exactly what they do for Easter, but they do. Can we dive over? Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> Go check out Christ and the Smokies lights a little bit closer. Yeah. But I'm going to say they light up at Easter as well. Christ in the Smokies is right under the sky lift. Yeah, it is, literally. Mm -hmm. Yep, I thought it was $5 to park all day yeah. in their parking lot, which is a really good price. Check out their nativity. You can circle through. Can I circle through? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they have a really nice nativity. No, they don't mind you circling through. I've never actually been over to here. I have when I was a kid. I've never been to it, I don't. But to my understanding, there's their big cross on the yeah. hillside. To my understanding, they've changed it massively. When we were kids, it was more of a wax museum type thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it is now. Okay. I'm just aware that they've changed it quite massively in the last like 10 years or so. Might be something we need to check out. Mm-hmm. Gecko Gecko's parked here. <laughs> yeah. And you've got some pinsettas and swans. Yep. And a really pretty rose. Yeah. Oh, and a dogwood. Yep. I like that dogwood. And then you have Jesus. Yeah. 
You got a little bit of a cover right here for rocks coming off the bridge. I think the cast drive should not have tacky. Yeah. They do a tasteful Christmas light. Yeah. Oh, I see where they got all their backup uh, storage for their chair lifts. I think that might be the old ones. Might be. That they didn't sell when they auctioned them. Oh, okay. Remember what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a place in Gatlinburg that has one of the ski lift chairs as a swing. Yeah. I don't know if you remembered where that was or not. Yep. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Guys, we're almost up here by the aquarium. It's been a long trek on River Road. Yeah. We've got some more lights up through here. I'll run y'all up by the edge of the aquarium for just a second and show you those lights. More lights right here, guys, out from the aquarium. And they got a lot of lights over here at the aquarium. We'll go over by there just a second. Mm, well, might be more than a second. Well. We will get there. In just a few minutes, whenever they get cleared up right here. The way they've done this right here, it's hard to get out. Is that a fishing snowman? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I think so. I mean, it looks like it has a fishing hat on. Yeah. Okay. Guys, not only with all the Christmas lights, there's the snowman people that literally are all up and down the strip and everything on the park benches of different characters. There's, there's snow people, but snowmen people, mm -hmm. but they're different things that they are. There's a construction worker named Hal. Yeah. I don't know the others by name. No. Kind of worries me that I know one's named Hal. Yeah, well, the reason we know it's Hal is because he went missing last year. He was abducted. And then he showed back up. We don't know the story on how he showed back up, but he did. Maybe he was just working a construction job somewhere. I don't know. I guess he's working a construction in North Pole. Mmm. That would explain why he just showed back up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a fishing snowman. No, they fished. Margaritaville Hotel over here in Gatlinburg has got snowflakes all over the sides under between the balconies. Hmm, so that we go by the aquarium, won't we? Uh, we might be able to. Alright guys, we're gonna bring you over by the aquarium and show you lights. Get better be coming back out. And right over there was them snowflakes that I was talking about on Margaritaville in Gatlinburg. Glenstone's Christmas trees are lit. Yeah. I got a reindeer out there that ain't lit. Mm. Just a reindeer. Oh dear. <laughs> I guess reindeer are not supposed to be lit, technically. <laughs> if your reindeer's lit, they've hit the eggnog too early, Chris. Yeah, well, it didn't. Go slow. <laughs> I 
this pink tree. Looks like a red bud. Only made out of lights. Yeah. It does. It looks like a Christmas light red bud. Yep. Pretty white one back there. Red, white, and blue Christmas tree. Something down there having a stroke. Yeah, it's a snowflake. Oh, okay. It's a twinkling snowflake. Snowflakes. Yep, I see the snowflakes up there now. Mm -hmm. it looks like they're falling. Yep. I didn't see that on the way through earlier. Crosswalk. They're crossing against the light, but I'm sure. You have skiers right yep. here. Those used to be up Ski Mountain. Yeah. Check out this light above the road. Yeah. I believe those are new. They had them before, but they weren't here. Okay. I don't know where those at. Then. I don't remember. Down a back road. I don't remember. Down a river road. Might have been that. They got uh, Jack Huss lit up. Very prettily. Yeah, it's actually lit up pretty nice. Yeah, seriously, that shocks me. Mm -hmm. A big blue star and a blood white. Mm hmm. Didn't Gatlinburg used to primarily only decorate in blue and white? I don't remember. I was thinking they did. Like back in like their childhood. Don't remember. Castles. Yeah. They're quite big. Yeah. Gatlinburg Winter Magic. Yep. I figured. See, James used to decorate. Did they? I think. Is it possible we're just losing our minds and not remembering things correctly? I don't remember. You can see the sky bridge better coming down this way by the space needle. Mm-hmm. Or the lights and stuff. So far. I mean, you can't see it that good, but you can see it. You can't see it like you could if you was up there. Trail. Also, there is no airport on Airport Road. No, it's just a name. Holiday yeah, they have lights. Brass has got lights. They have a deer. Yep. Oh, can we pull in at the convention center? Okay. You know why? Oh. There's a friend at the convention center. You know which friend I'm talking about? I forgot. We. Mm hmm We saw a famous person at the convention center. Yeah. Well, I mean, person? A famous something. The Gillette's lit nicely. They're lit really nicely. Yeah, they are. Hmm. Hmm. And the Space Needle. Lit in blue, still look a little bit more wintry. Mm -hmm. And the 
Convention Center. Yep. Which has great craft shows. Guys, we wanted to show you something right here at the Convention Center. I've never saw anything like it. Nope. The largest elf on a shelf I have ever saw in my life. I mean, what's your guess? He's probably 10, 12 feet if you were standing up. Uh, sitting right there down like that, he's that high. He's taller than that if you stand up. I wish we could have you walk over for comparison. Uh, he's huge. Yeah. Alright guys, that will conclude the Winterfest 2020 in Gatlinburg in the downtown all areas. I wanted to just bring you, show you all that. You're not able to be able to come for whatever particular reason that you used to be able to come and enjoy the lights. You can follow the video, watch the videos, and at least get to see what it looks like, guys. I know it's not the same as being here in person, but if you can't be in person, at least you get to still see them. So, guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so so far. And ring that bell for to keep your notifications coming. And if you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 8 a.m. go live that will keep you up to date with future wandering adventures and guys this is the wandering weasel signing off from winterfest gatlinburg 2020